Grace. I'm 11 years old and I live in Hong Kong. I go to Independent School Foundation Academy and I'm in Grade 6 Woodhouse. I decided to do this project on shark finning because I find people like to save pandas and elephants but don't even know it's sharks. And shark finning is starting to be a huge issue, so I thought I would like to research it and think of ways to help. The purpose of me doing this video is to tell people that sharks are very beautiful animals, that they aren't as dangerous as most people were taught, and to convince them to stop shark finning. Humans only want the fins for shark fin soup, but sharks are living animals, you can't just attack them like that. What reaction would you have if someone decided to cut your ears off just because they like them? Well, this is what the sharks feel when fishermen hunt them. Sharks are living creatures, and I believe they are very beautiful and elegant. Shark finning is now a global problem. Sharks are an apex predator. They are invaluable for keeping the populations of everything else in the food chain in balance. Finning is responsible for the death of between 88 million to 100 million sharks every year. Because sharks are at the top of the food chain and have few predators, they are produced and mature slowly. That means their numbers are slow to replenish when a population is overfished. At the rate humans are going, we are set to wipe out sharks entirely in as little as 10 to 20 years. Sharks are dying will threaten the stability of marine ecosystem since they are the one who control populations underwater. In other words, they are architects of our world. Since the 1970s, the population of several species have been decreased by over 95%. Due to the cruelty of finning, records are really kept of the numbers of sharks and species caught. Shark finning has increased over the past decade due to the increasing demand of shark fins shark fin soup and traditional cures, improved fish technology and improved market economics. Every year, 10 million sharks, which is 190 sharks per minute, die a slow death. To hack off a shark's fin and throw its still living body back into the sea is such an inhumane practice. Unable to swim, the shark slowly sinks towards the bottom where it is eaten alive by other fish. Humans are hunting the sharks for fins so much that more than 100 out of 400 shark species are endangered. Many of these shark species' long-term survival can no longer be guaranteed. Shark fin soup is a symbol of royalty and wealth. Most of the time, shark's fin is served at very expensive banquets, especially weddings or celebration dinners. Shark fin soup is a Chinese tradition since the Ming Dynasty. It has therefore been known in China for at least a few hundred years. Throughout the ages, Chinese have considered shark fin one of the eight treasured food from the sea. The fact that so little is obtained from such a large fish made fins noble and precious, fit for the table of the emperors. Fins were indeed listed as articles of tribute when officers of coastal regions visited the emperors in the imperial court. Fins are traditionally served at dinner parties to express the host's respect for its guests. To this day, the practice still holds true in Chinese communities. Old Chinese medical books include the following benefits of eating shark's fin. Appetite enhancement, nourishing to blood, beneficial to vital energy, kidneys, lungs, bones, and many other parts of the body. Marine and shark biologists estimate that in 10 years, the sharks will be extinct. So take action now to save sharks and animals that have been around even before dinosaurs. They have been swimming in the sea for such a long time, so many decades. Cutting off the shark's fin are like cutting off someone's ears and throwing them back into the ocean. You're thinking now that it's so disgusting, that it's brutal and mean. Well, isn't shark finning? It is also a brutal, wasteful, harmful, and inhumane practice just to satisfy a demand for shark fin soup, which can cost us humans 300 per pound. Would it be right if we took away all animals and nothing is left for our future generation? Would this be ethically right? This wouldn't be right. Like me, I'm sure there are a lot of children who would like to know how dinosaurs actually looked like. But differently from this case, our ancestor didn't want to make the dinosaurs extinct. If we make sharks extinct, future generations will only be left with photos and fossils of sharks to look at, and not real ones.
Do you want that to happen? You might think, since sharks live in the sea, it won't affect us. So why should we waste our effort and time to help save sharks? Because sharks are at the top of the food chain. They keep the ocean populations in control and keep the food chain in balance. The oceans depend on them to keep the numbers of other fish and mammal species in check and weed out the sick, injured, and dying so that populations of fish stay strong and healthy. Without sharks, from butter feeders all the way up to the great whites, the balance of the ocean's food chain is endangered. The moral issues are practical. We need healthy oceans, and oceans can only remain healthy if the marine ecosystems stay in balance. At the top of the food chain, as a predator, sharks are vital components in the ecosystem. Everyone should help not only because it's inhumane, but also because one day this problem will come to us and all sharks die out. The marine ecosystem wouldn't stay in balance, so then our food chain and humans ecosystem will be in balance as well, and then when we want to stop it, it will be too late. So we should start saving sharks now. Spread the news around, tell your friends, make a poster, give a talk, start a blog, and etc. You can also join organizations like Sea Shepherd or Humane Society Internations. And you could convince some shops that sell or cook shark fin soup to stop. I hope that now you understand the issue of shark finning and would start to help stop shark finning by 1. Promote my video to where more people would watch and understand. 2. Start telling friends and family about this issue so they would know and help as well. 3. Make an organization or make your own video or a way to express your feelings and ideas of shark finning. Enjoy the beauty of the environment, the beauty of the underwater world, the beauty of marine life. Protect animals well so our future generations can see the elegance of marine life and sea animals like how we see it now.